Hey guys, welcome back to another video from Motopress. I'm Valerie. Today I'm speaking about the appointment booking plugin and its new feature allowing clients to pay a deposit. So, if you prefer not to charge your customers the full service fee upfront, keep watching. The appointment booking plugin 1.14 or greater enables you to take deposits for online bookings. This means you can offer clients to pay just part of the full service price at checkout. This option aims to deliver more convenience to the payment experiences of your clients, urge them to book the appointment without hesitation, increase a client's commitment to the appointment, and of course, earn you more sales at the same time we made it possible for clients to have a choice they can uh, pay just a deposit or opt to pay the full amount immediately it's worth mentioning that we've also updated the appointment booking woocommerce payments add-on to support the deposit payments and discount coupons functionality so you can safely use both a tutorial about coupons will be in the description box under this video otherwise you can go through the whole playlist dedicated to appointment booking and find this video there along with more useful content the focal point of today's video is to walk you through the deposit settings so let's get straight to it there are two deposit types offered percentage or fixed accordingly you can allow a client to pay a percentage of the default service price or the fixed monetary value so you can call the tune here as i've already mentioned before a deposit type can be chosen separately for each service to designate it log to your wordpress dashboard Click Appointments. Under Appointments, there is the Service submenu. Choose the Service for editing. Then scroll down to the Deposit Settings section. And this is where you can set the deposit type and its value. Update, and you're done. The booking submission process doesn't change much for customers. They choose the service, date and time, and provide the needed details. Though only the last step is different. When they are redirected to pay for their booking, uh, they see uh, that they can pay a deposit. So I'm entering the card details and finishing the reservation. With the next example, I want to click Pay the Total Price now. Uh, you may notice the table with the deposit option is hidden. In this case, customers pay the total price stated in the Your Order Price Breakdown table. As for the payment information, you should visit the Bookings menu and you'll be able to see how much the client paid and what is left to pay in the individual booking details. Here you can also record the full payment by clicking on the Add Payment Manually button once the client has paid the rest. Having added another payment manually, you'll see uh, these uh, as different payments in the Payment Details table. There might be services with or without a deposit price offered in the card, so the total sum will be calculated accordingly. Now we see that one service in my card is offered with a deposit price and another one requires an instant a full charge. It should be pointed out uh, deposits will work for all payment methods except for the payment after arrival one well that's it for today now you know appointment booking allows you to collect either a percentage of the appointment value a set amount or full payment 
I hope this tutorial was useful for you and you've learned how to easily enable client deposits. So hurry up to update your appointment booking uh, to the latest version to get access to the deposit settings. If you already had a chance to test out and implement the deposits on your site, let us know what you think about it and share your feedback with us by writing your comments in the comment section of this video. Don't forget to put the thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any updates from WaterPress. It was great having you here. Thank you so much for watching till the end and I'll be seeing you in the next video.